and this is the epoxy it's a two part again and it's exothermic which means it will heat up <coughs> ok this is the epoxy resin that I put on and we can see here that we've got creep in it eh? so it's kind of well basically melted I would imagine would be the right word um, and we can see the same up here there's definitely got creep going on let me get a very light one that you can see it there eh? let me just zoom in on it you can see it where it's lifted off the, the metal see it that's creep so we've got two different sort of temperatures going on in the, the epoxy and in the stainless and stainless has one of the highest expansion ratios of all the metals it's good to can, uh, be allowed for in any design manufacture whether it's a vessel or a tank or any of that nature they've got to allow for this quite high expansion ratio of stainless steel so I think this is it's, they've not all parted company, this one hasn't parted company that's a complete see that's just coming off there just with my finger it shouldn't be doing that and we can see there we've got distinct scorching going on so we've obviously got it leaking out for underneath for under here uh, we have uh, we have uh, there we go it's lifting yeah that's that's uh, that's complete not a wash it yeah it's a wash it that you can see it there as well that's a wash it well, I mean once that's actually expanding and contracting you're going to get water under there as soon as you've got water under there you've got a third expansion ratio or gas whatever the case may be doesn't really much matter um, you're going to get flux leakage up positive and my negative in my hand now you can see we've got flux leakage coming up now I'm going to show you there's no flux leakage you can hear the motor running there's no flux leakage whatsoever around here I'm going to touch the plate and you hear the motor stop you hear it stop so there's no flux leakage whatsoever going on there there's the motor back on or a power supply no flux leakage whatsoever around the edges even when I touch the edges like so none whatsoever going on now let me show you the edges I can shove the let me just bring this in here and draw this back a bit you can see that I can shove it under the edges there so the party company, the whole thing's party company for the, the pair of these really well sealed uh, we can see there that it's party company um, there we go although there seems to be uh, we've just brought the centre of the hole out as well you can see the centre of the hole around the, the actual edge so well we've got a nice clean surface here around the hole <laughs> in reality we've had flux leakage all about the hole so you know it's, it's one of these conundrums again it's, it's the expansion ratio of stainless steel is is, is quite dynamic that uh, 
we have to hear something, I believe we have to hear something that isn't like this, which is quite rigid. And if I, if I crack this wee thing, it'll, it'll crack, you see? So it's, it's quite rigid. Um, it's, it's fairly rigid stuff. Okay, <clears throat> I'm using Draper high temperature RTV which is good for minus 50 to plus 275 um, centigrade that is I've put some onto this and this is uh, it takes 24 hours to cure this particular stuff it goes gets a skin on it so you can kind of mold it a little bit around the holes gets a skin on it after about 10-20 minutes we can see there that if I'm bending this, it doesn't seem to come off, so we're able to have pliability with it, and it will come and go with the, with the stainless steel, is it? You know, it's just not with that flexibility, the epoxies. This stuff does, so here's hoping, and we'll see how it goes.